Hi guys, welcome to reading class. Today um, we are starting set four of your ebook, and it's um, the letter A. is for is the letter that you'll be teaching your younger siblings. If you're teaching your younger siblings, or reviewing, or your cousins, or whoever you're teaching, um, we are talking about the letter A, right? And isn't that funny how the alligator looks like the capital letter A and he has the stick in his mouth, right? Now, the letter A has its name, which is A, which is A, right? Like ape, ape. The letter A also likes to say his sound, but when he says his sound, he's scared. Like if you saw an alligator and an alligator crawled up to you, might be a little bit scary, right? If I saw an alligator crawl up to me, I would go, ah! And that's kind of the sound that, the sound that letter A makes, ah! Kind of like you're scared. You're a little bit scared and you're kind of, kind of um, just yelling, right? Or screaming a little bit, ah! Now the letter A likes to say his name, A, he also likes to say his sound, ah, and sometimes he likes to copy other letters. Not very much, but sometimes he does. And sometimes he copies the letter O, and he'll say, ah, yeah, like in wash. Wash is spelled W-A-S-H, so it should say wash or wash, but it says wash. And that's when A is saying, is, is pretending to be like the letter O and say the ah sound. Now once in a while, it'll even make the U sound, ah. And so A, A thinks he's pretty important. A likes to say not only his own name and sounds, but copy other people. So you, whenever you see an A, try the letter sound first, ah. If that doesn't work, try the letter name A. If that doesn't work, try O, A. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then maybe A is trying to do the U sound, A. Uh. So that's the letter A that you're going to be, you're going to be um, sharing with your younger students. Okay, for those of you who are learning your sight words, this is a word that we use a lot in our writing, and it is the word R. And I always thought this was an interesting word because it's just R. And if we had just, just had the letter R, we could have just used the letter R. And we didn't need the A and we didn't need the E. We would just need the R. R. How are you? We just wrote the R. That would make sense. But in the word R, like how are you today, then you have to have an A in the front, then the R, and an E at the, at the end. And um, we know that AR is also the letter partner that says R, so maybe that's why, right? It has the letter partner R. And then the E's just kind of there. The E is just hanging out. It wants to be there with A and R. It wants, it, it wants to be asked, how are you today, right? Because letters want to... Letters have feelings too, right? So A, R, E is R. So let's try a little thing right here. I'm going to say something and you're going to pretend you are something, okay? Okay, pretend you are a cheetah. Whoa, running fast. That's very fast. You are a fast runner. Okay, ready? Pretend you are an elephant. Oh yeah, stomping, big nose. Right, an elephant. Right, good job. Okay, pretend you are a clown. What do clown do? Maybe juggle? Juggle the balls? Maybe do something funny, make everyone laugh? Yeah? Nice. Okay, ready? Pretend you are a dolphin. That's what dolphins do. Yeah, they would swim and jump and swim and jump and swim and jump all over the place, right? Uh, oh, a spinner dolphin. That's right, spinning. Woo, nice work. Okay, pretend you are 
a tree. Wow, that's very still, huh? Not very well. I guess your branches move, right? You can do the branches, right? Blowing in the wind, branches. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Okay, pretend you are a rabbit. <laughs> hopping, lots of hopping, lots of hopping. Nice job. Good job. Okay, pretend you are an editor of a book. So how do you pretend that? Well, I think you better read a book, right? You got to read if you are an editor of the book. You've got to read the whole book and find out if they messed up at all or if anything is wrong or even if the story is good. So today when you're reading, you can be the editor and decide, oh, I think they should change this part of the book. Or um, I would move these words around. You can be an editor of the book. Okay, good job. Spell R for me. A-R-E. Nice work. Okay, this is a word for the older kids. Analyze, analyze, analyze. Analyze, so let's go, here we go. A, N, A, oops, it's saying the U sound. Analyze, when you analyze something, you really look at every detail of it, right? So you older kids today are going to analyze something. Just like the younger kids, you might want to look at a book and analyze just one page. Do you think that they wrote, do you think that what they wrote on that one page is is really good? Do you think they could add anything? Do you think there was something they didn't need to write on there? Do you think the picture was good? Was there anything you would do differently? Would you add to the picture? What would you do? Really analyze the book when you're reading it. Analyze at least one page and see what do you think could be different on that page, okay? All right, so remember, A says A or A or A uh, or A. Uh. And you can keep playing the game. You are, you can play that game with someone. R, R, okay. R, there's another game too. Uh, if you look on your book, there's a, a different, um, oh, it's a hide and seek game. You can play that or you can play the one we played here. So R, and remember to analyze, analyze your book, your well, at least one page in your book. So remember to read, you're still doing epic, which is great, you're reading the books they send you, you're reading books on your own. Read everything, read signs, read things on the TV. Just read, 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 and practice, and have fun, and enjoy it. Okay, have a great day.